It's another Friday and another tempo run. Last week, I did a five mile broken tempo run, and this week, I continue the progression with a six mile broken tempo run. My goal for the Long Beach Marathon is to finish in three hours. Long Beach is a pretty flat course that can get pretty warm towards the end of the race. So today, we're on a flat dirt track to get a good rhythm while saving the legs from the hard pounding on pavement. It's also a muggy, windless morning, so it'll be a good practice for race day. I'm trying to split each of the miles at 635 per mile, or 406 per kilometer. Last week, I was able to get 4 miles unbroken before I fell off the pace, so today I am breaking up the run a little earlier so that I will have legs to finish strong all the way to the end. I woke up pretty late this morning. I'm usually super negative and cranky when I get a late start. But today, I decided to focus on the goal for the workout, think specifically about the task at hand, and in general, maintain a positive outlook. Thanks, Daddy, for that advice. By the time we finished the two-mile jog to the track at around 8.15 per mile, I was ready to start the workout. I was actually pretty excited. I had a lot of support for this tempo run. My coach, Cole, Alvin, Father Daniel, and Miss Anita were all there and they made it easier for me to stay positive. My coach, Alvin, and Father Daniel paced me. Cole and Evan just raced a 5K the day before, so they ran with me for 800 meter intervals to give their legs a break. The first two miles felt so easy that I asked my coach if we could just continue the tempo run unbroken. Coach told me to stick to the plan, so we split the first mile in 6.34 and the second mile in 6.37 before floating for two minutes at 7.40 per mile. Okay, first two miles done, and it felt pretty comfortable. Surprisingly, floating at 740 per mile felt really good after running at that speed for about a minute. I'll have to remind myself about this during the long run on Sunday. I split the third mile in 636, and the fourth mile in 633. I felt pretty relaxed during the third mile, but started feeling some pressure during the fourth mile. But I didn't fall off the pace like I did last week. I was relieved to float at 7.41 per mile for 2 minutes before hitting the final long interval. My coach did 8 k's of threshold the day before, so he told me to finish the last set with Alvin and Father Daniel. I was tired, but determined. I did my best to stay positive and broke down the remaining distance of the tempo run into segments. Before I knew it, I finished the 5th mile in 6.39. Alvin and Father Daniel gapped me a bit during the last mile, but I was still on pace and finished the sixth and final mile in 6.32. Six miles at half marathon pace done. I am so grateful to all of my All Heart friends for coming out to help me get this tough workout done. And thanks daddy for giving me good advice at home and for putting on your coach's hat to help me out on the run. I am super glad that we ended up breaking the tempo run so that I could finish strong. I also know that many of our all her friends are watching and supporting me, and that gives me so much positive energy and motivation. Thank you all so much. Hey, thanks Haven for sharing your tempo workout with all of us. Please like this video and help get it out to as many people as possible. Subscribe. If you haven't done so already, it helps out our channel a ton. So much love and gratitude to our Patreon team who we can't do all of this without. Join us on Instagram and Strava for your daily dose of running motivation. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye now.